think it's time we blow this scene. Get everybody in the stuff together. Okay, three, two, one, let's jam. On today's episode of One Minute Reactions, Rack to Demon Slayer commits now you bet episode 15, Mount Naragumo. Well, I fucking called it. Coming off last week's episode, Zenitsu, Inuosuke, and Tanjiro are held up in this basically safe house. When Zenitsu comes out and confronts Tanjiro about what's in the box, what's in the box, and out pops Nezuku, which leads to a comedic misunderstanding that Tanjiro's only living this Demon Slayer life for all the hot demon booty. That's not the case, it's his fucking sister. Yes, now Zenitsu Zenitsu is all lovey-dovey. I fucking called it. So with a clean bill of health, it's time for our three demon slayers to move on to their next mission. Head to north by northeast. There lies Mount Naragumo, the place for your next mission. All three of you are to go. So it looks like we're going to be teammates heading out, and hopefully we see a nice balancing act between the characters' personalities. Now anyways, at the foot of this mountain, we see a fellow demon slayer lying on the ground. And almost instantly, before Tanjiro can barely hold his hand out to offer help, he is instantly pulled into the forest almost as if he's flying. Now at this point there's already seems to be a breakdown in communication with our group. Zenitsu is so cowardly in fact he decides to stay back and is actually upset with Tanjiro and Inosuke for not talking him into it. Going as far to say hey we're not even friends. That's not what friends would do. Eventually realizing that Tanjiro took Nezuku with him he heads up the mountain. All the meanwhile Tanjiro finds another fellow demon slayer seemingly the last one remaining of a large group sent there who is pissed off that they sent newbies to this mountain. They need to send, let me see if I can remember this correctly, Hashira, which I'm assuming is the upper echelon of the Demon Slayers, because we do see later on that the head honcho sends out Gyo, as well as a new Demon Slayer making the appearance in this episode, Shinobu. Yeah, I'm assuming these are the heavy hitters, and we might just need them because not one, not two, like three or more demons are on this mountain. A family of spider-type demons, which creep me the fuck out anyways, have claimed this mountain as their territory. Yeah, a little creepy short demon walking on fucking threads, got a big hulking one, the mom's fucking controlling people like fucking puppets with spider webs, I don't know, this gives me the chills, like I said, I do not like fucking spiders. Now before this episode wraps up, we get a glimpse of Inosuke's Breath of the Beast style, yes, Fang of the Seventh Special Awareness, he is able to locate the Puppet Master. So I really enjoyed this episode, they're using it to get back in the action, setting up some possible, you know, character development in Inosuke, and hopefully Zenitsu, I know you guys are saying he's annoying, he hasn't rubbed off on me that much yet, but I could see it getting tiresome if he, you know, doesn't evolve past this coward-like nature. I have high hopes for these characters. I think what we're gonna get at the end is just a fucking phenomenal team. So, with the fact that the head honcho is obviously where he needs to send out his heavy hitters, as well as there being multiple demons, I have a pretty good feeling that in the next couple episodes we're gonna get some pretty badass battles. So with all that being said, I cannot wait for future episodes. <laughs>